Hello, today we're going to talk about margins, columns, and page orientation. In other words, some of the things you're going to find under the page layout tab in the page setup group. Now, these three things don't really have a lot in common. Uh, this won't take a lot of time, but they all have one common thing. So these are my margins, right by default, they're about an inch. If you want to change your margins, right, it's as simple as doing that. And the thing I'd like to point out is, Notice that my margins changed for the entire document. They didn't change for a paragraph or a word, right? I mean, margins affect the entire document by default. Similarly, if I change the page orientation to landscape, the entire document's landscaped. So if I want to change the columns to two, well, that didn't go the way I expected it to. It's because I had something selected. Let me undo that. Let me just single cursor. That's what I was expecting to happen. The reason it went a little bit differently before is because I accidentally had a, a piece of text selected. Now you might be wondering why did it do what it did? Well, let's figure it out. So this is not even what I, where I meant to go with this, but it's worth talking about. Let's go to, and then, well, that's pretty weird. The reason it's so weird is that I don't have the show hide button on. If I turn on the show hide button, you can see what happened. So there's these section breaks behind the scenes. And so if you have text selected and you apply one of these it's going to insert section breaks around the text, which is just not really what I meant to do. So, if you were to want to apply margins, orientation, columns to just a section of your document, then you would need to start having a conversation about breaks, which is going to be the subject of my next video. So these things, by default, affect the entire document. Uh, you can select the text and kind of rely on Word to insert the breaks for you, but that's only going to get you so far. If you're really ever going to be good with Word, you're going to need to be very comfortable with breaks. So there's page breaks and section breaks, which is going to be the subject of my next video.